Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mushtack, and today we are doing another math problem from October 2010, me round 1, problem 1. Okay, so. Let A star B equal the absolute value of the absolute value of A minus the absolute value of B. If x star negative 4 equals 2, how many values could x have? Now before we do anything, because we only have one star operation, I just want to substitute um, x and negative 4 into a and negative 4, so we don't have to deal with any star operations anymore. So first, let's just write out a... Okay, so now we don't need to deal with any star operations anymore, because we know that x star 4 equals the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of negative 4. So now we can just substitute that into our equation. Now, we want to know how many solutions to our equations are there. So, to do that, we need to find the number of different equations without absolute value signs. So if you're used to solving absolute value equations, you should know how to do this. Otherwise, I'll teach you how to do it in this video, but I suggest you search how to solve absolute value equations so you can better understand this topic. Because that's that's a good topic to know in general, especially for math competitions. And it can be confusing, but it's good to know. Okay, so first I just substituted the absolute value of negative 4 with 4. Because that's the absolute value of negative 4. It's just 4. So now we have the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus 4 equals 2. Now we don't actually need to solve for x, we just need to find the different equations. So this is actually a, a lot easier problem than you might think. So for the absolute value of x, we have two substitutions x and negative x. So we have the absolute value of x minus 4 equals 2, and the. Uh, oh, or the absolute value, okay, because they can't both be true at the same time. So, or the absolute value of negative x minus 4 equals 2. So now we have two equations, but now we need to substitute those absolute values with two different absolute value, with two different non absolute value values. So the absolute value of x minus 4 is x minus 4, or the negative of that, which is 4 minus x. And the absolute value of negative x minus 4 is negative x minus 4, or the negative of that, which is x plus 4. So, with the first equation, we substitute these two values, and with the second equation, we substitute these two values. So let's do that. So we have x minus 4 equals 2, or 4 minus x equals 2 from the first equation. And we also have negative x minus 4 equals 2, or x plus 4 equals 2 from the second equation. Now, we have four equations, so there's four values of x. If you want to make sure that there's four values of x, you can just check that none of the equations have the same solution by solving all of the equations. So x equals 6, x equals 2, x equals negative 6, x equals negative 2. So those are our solutions to this equation. If you really want to check it, you can plug it back in, but I don't think we have to. So our answer is 4. It was a pretty easy problem if you know how to solve absolute value equations. If you don't, I suggest learning how to do that or brushing up on it if you, you haven't done it in a long time. Absolute value it comes up a few times in these competitions and they can be helpful to know. If you're really good at absolute value equations, it gives you an advantage at this competition. So I suggest learning how to do that well. And that's it. Have fun doing math.